Hey everyone, it's Dubui, and in this video we're going to talk about the share settings for your files in Google Drive. This is important because it makes it easier for others to collaborate with you, and it gives you some level of protection and security for the items you want to keep safe. So I'm going to go ahead and show you by clicking on this Productivity with G Suite folder. All I have to do is right click, and there's a simple share button that I can click, or I can quickly go to the share settings in the upper right hand corner. Both of these will open up just like this, this little menu right here. You can see that I am the current owner and then there's no one else that has access to this folder. I can type in very many different people here and when I click on certain people within my email domain, they'll pop up, you can click on them very easy. You saw that I just clicked on Christopher Walker and now he's there and uh, to the right, I decide here if he's a viewer, a, a commenter or a, an editor. A editor writes, they can organize, add and pretty much change anything within that folder. If they're a commenter, it means they can only comment on anything in the folder. If they have viewing rights, they can only view things in the folder. Here, I can go ahead and notify him if I want. He's going to go ahead and, and he's an editor within this folder now. Just keep in mind, what that little icon just appeared in my folder. It means someone has access to this whole folder. I'm going to go ahead and click on the folder. And everything in this folder, he's going to have um, editor rights to, he can edit anything in the folder. Sharing settings, if you change it for the folder, again, you can click on the folder from up here and click share. Um, you see that Christopher Walker is now an editor. He has access to everything in the folder and he can change anything in the folder. If I only wanted people to access certain files, then I'll share those specific files and not the entire folder. So all I need to do that is the same way I did this with the folder. I click on the actual file, the coolest assignment right here. I can right click on it and share from here, or I can click on it and click this little share button right at the top. When I click on that, I can type in a, any type of person that is in my consortium, email domain, whatever you want to call it. And then from here, I can also change what type of access they have. So for Kelly, I just want her to comment on this and that's it. I'm not going to notify her. I'm just going to send this out. And then Kelly is now someone who can access this document and comment on it. And of course, that's just that specific document. Now, if you wanted to not go through the hassle of changing your um, documents every time, you just want your anyone in your email domain to access it very easily, then all you need to do is actually click on the folder. This is the folder right here at the top. And I can click on that share button or get the button to the right. I'm going to click right here. And from here at the bottom where it says get link, here's where you can also get the link to share to people, but it can also change that whole entire folder or file right from here. And since this is a folder, I can click on who it's shared with in this little section. If I click on that, I can restrict it to just a certain amount of people. I can have anyone in my domain be a viewer or anyone with a link, meaning anybody in any domain can click on this folder and view files in it. If I do that and click done, then all of the files that I create or move into this folder will have that share setting. It's important to get the share settings right and to your specific liking, just so it increases your productivity and it makes access and collaboration much quicker. And that's been share settings in Google Drive.